What's up, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free Major League Baseball home run prop show for Sunday, September 3rd, 2023. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games I love the most, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure you head on over to PickDogs.com, click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. But let's get into the home run prop action for Saturday. You can still tell, you know, hearing from my voice. A little bit under the weather. I broke it on the morning show. Unfortunately, COVID did get me. But you know what? That just means I got to stay cooped up and do more research for you guys for this home run prop show. So, um, you know, we're, what we're going to do today is just because because of my voice and straight a little bit. Hopefully, we'll be back to normal within the next day or two that I can go a little bit longer with these home run prop videos. But uh, today, we're going to go back and do another three-leg parlay. Uh, just give you the three, the three home run props that I really did like the most for today's action. I have an alternate play as well if you want to sort of add it or switch or swap it out if there's one that you don't like. So... Uh, you know, t do with it what you will, but I got to remind everybody: these home run props are very high risk, high reward. They're not plays that I recommend anybody dump their whole bankroll into. They're just there for some side action to have some fun with, for some pizza money or some coffee money. Nothing to go too crazy over. Uh, you know, I normally give out a lot of player props in this home run prop show, so you know, anything you do take from here, you can play straight up. That's why I recommend. Or you know, today, like we do, have a parlay for you. So you know, if you want to parlay them, like I know some people like to do. Um, if it's anything over three legs, what I recommend doing is a round robin. Yes, it's going to drive up the cost of the bet, you know, as opposed to just playing the single parlay. Basically, a round robin is going to be, let's say you do a three-leg parlay, you're going to parlay each of the smaller combinations as well. So you have a bunch of smaller parlays, but at least that way, you know, if one of the main legs of your, your big parlay doesn't hit, you still win something. So um, if it's within your means, if it's something that your, your book offers, you know, definitely worth looking into. But uh you know, we did, we take a look at the, uh, the the parlay that we had yesterday. We did hit Trey Turner. He kept up his torrid run against right-handed pitching. But, uh, you know, the other two legs did not hit. So even if you had the round robin, he came close, but no cigar. But you know what? Again, that's why I say these home run props, you know, definitely uh, definitely risky. So um, we'll take a look at the home run prop parlay that we have in just a second. But before we get to that, I want to remind everybody, I love interacting with you guys. So let me know in the comments down below. Do you like the player props that I have on the parlay today? Do you not like them? Do you have player props of your own? So uh, let me know. You know, if you guys, um, if you have, like I said, if you have player props, but if you're going to do that, drop them in there before the game start. That's all I ask. Um, if they're not in there before the game start, they don't help anybody. And we're trying to be, beat the books as a team here, pick dogs, one team, one goal. That goal every single day is to get us paid. And, uh, you know, while I do like seeing everybody, you know, happy, you know, that they post their tickets again. If you post them after the fact, they don't help anybody. So while we're happy for you that you hit, let's share them all together. Let's, let's, let's put them in there and, and beat the books all, as, as, as a unit. So. Let's get to our home run prop parlay for uh, for Sunday. I'm going to start things off with uh, the first play from this Braves and Dodgers matchup, and I'm going to go with Freddie Freeman for a home run at uh, plus 450. Uh, again, books are different, so do your line shopping. This is what the betting tools will do for you. They'll help you find the best price. But again, if you have other sports books, again, it never hurts to keep checking. Um, but Freddie Freeman is going to be the first play here. He's got a 400 average with two homers. Six extra base hits in the last 10 days against right-handed pitching. And in 18 career head-to-head at-bats against Braves starter Charlie Morton, Freeman has 10 hits, six extra base hits, including three home runs. And since joining the Dodgers a couple, uh, in 2022, Freeman, four for six with two home runs and three extra base hits in his career against Charlie Morton. Now, Morton hasn't given up a ton of home runs or even runs, period, as of late. And I don't believe in the, in the ideology that a guy is due, whether it's a guy that's due to hit a home run or due to give up some runs. But I do feel like this is a spot where the Dodgers break through, Freeman especially. I just don't know if that kind of, you know, dominance is sustainable for much longer from Charlie Morton, especially with the Dodgers on the other side. So I'm going to take Freddie Freeman as the first leg of the parlay. The second leg of the parlay is going to be Teoscar Hernandez for the Seattle Mariners at plus 350. He's got five home runs total in the last week, and in the last 10 days, he has four home runs against right-handed pitching with a 318 batting average. He's going up against the Mets in, uh, starter in Tyler McGill, who's probably my least favorite pitcher in the Mets rotation. He's given up five home runs in his last five starts and at least two home runs in two of those three outings uh, where he's given up a home run. But Hernandez also on an 11-game hit streak with two or more hits in seven of those 11 games. He's seeing the ball well. He's making solid contact. I like the matchup here. I'm going to go with Teoscar Hernandez uh, at plus 350. And uh, our last play of the day, Corey Seager uh, for the Texas Rangers, plus 280. Uh, he's hitting 320 with three home runs, four extra base hits in the last 10 days against righties. He's going up against Minnesota's Kenta Maeda here, who, who started you know really well coming off of the uh, the injured list, um, but he's actually struggled in his last couple of outings. He's given up 12 runs in 13 innings in his last three starts with four home runs allowed. 
He's allowed at least one home run in eight straight starts and in nine of his last 10. And in the last week against righties, Corey Seager has 13 balls put in play. Six of them have come off the bat at over 100 miles per hour. He's making solid contact. I think he could tag Maeda here. So I'm going to take Corey Seager for the final leg of the parlay. Now, I could maybe be talking to Trey Turner for the Phillies here. He has hit a home run in five straight games. But the problem for me there is that Turner has is up against the lefty today, Wade Miley. And Turner, in the last couple of weeks, basically since the, run, the start of this run, he's been far less effective against lefties as of late. So that's not to say he won't hit one here, but that's just the reason that um, the angle, that's the angle that kind of took me off of Trey Turner a little bit. Trust me, when he's back against righties, Turner's going to be an auto play for, for, the, for the next little bit. But uh, anyways, we'll do a recap of the parlay that we just gave out. Um, yeah, like I said, sorry, it's going to be a short and sweet show today, but uh, once I recover a little bit, we'll uh, we'll get back to our, our old format. We're, we're going to you know, just spray across the board and, and give you guys a ton of plays. But uh, the first leg of the parlay is going to be Freddie Freeman at plus 450. Second leg of the parlay, Teoscar Hernandez at plus 350. And the final leg of the parlay, Corey Seager at plus 280. But thank you guys for sticking with me. I appreciate each and every one of you up over 139,000 subscribers here on our YouTube channel. Couldn't have done without you guys' love and support, so thank you so much for that. Again, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Hit that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find us at PickDocs Premium. Also, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here at PickDogs. And, um, you know, this is a perfect example of why you want to have the notifications on because sometimes the video comes out close to when the video, when the first pitch of the opening game starts, so... Um, if you have those notifications on, you get notified as soon as the content drops, you get to watch the content, get those best bets in, get the best possible number. Also, make sure you check out our betting tools at Pick Dogs and Sports Shop Place. They're 100% free. They're there for you to use. They'll do the heavy lifting for you with a lot of your bets. Um, they're great. They're a great asset to have. You know, they're going to show you player props. They're going to show you how often the bet hits. And, uh, they're going to show you where the maximum value is depending on the sports book. If you don't have an account with the book that's giving you the best price, you sign up with them, you get a sports book bonus offer on us as a new customer, and you're adding to your advantage that they can't take away from you, which is your ability to shop lines, find the best possible number. There's other tools there depending on your betting style. You know, There's a streaks tool if you like betting hot and cold streaks. Parlay builders if you're a parlay better. Uh, profitable teams, angles, underdogs, the list goes on and on. We're all different in what we like to bet, but the one thing that unites us all is that we like to make money. So definitely make sure that you go on over and check those betting tools out because they will make you a ton of money. I can promise you that. But thank you so much for watching. Again, appreciate you. Let's crush the books on Sunday and finish the week strong.